And we're now on page 686. Even though it be the home of someone who has managed for long to avoid misfortune, we gods will not enter into the dwelling of a person with perverse disposition. Even though it be a dwelling where a man be, mourn, be in mourning for father and mother, if he be a man of compassion, we deities will enter in there. And this is from the oracle of the Kami of Kasuga from Shinto wisdom. And we have here Rabbi Yohanan ben Zakai said, Go forth and see which is the good way to which a man should cleave. This is from Rabbi Elizar said, A good eye. Rabbi Joshua said, A good friend. Rabbi Jose said, A good neighbor. Rabbi Simeon said, one who foresees the fruit of an action. Rabbi Elazar said, A good heart. Thereupon he said to them, I approve the words of Elazar ben Ara, rather than your words, for in his words yours are included. Wow. So this is from Mishnah Abu. To that 13 from Judaism. And now we have the teachings of our father, Reverend Sun Moon. Moon. Uh, uh, yes. We'll continue about our first subtopic here. We read page 686, Teachings of our True Father, the Reverend Dr. Sun Myung Moon. No matter that you plan to go another way, the heart of love for the sake of others will always point you in the right direction, as a compass always points north, and this is a speech given to us January 19, 1986, and we read, Make a habit of liking people. Tell them that you like them, even if they do not like you. It is training, and this is a speech given to us May 9, 1982, and we read, have you ever shed tears for others? It is easy for people to weep for themselves. But have, to, have you wept for others? There are two kinds of tears. A person who sheds tears for him or herself will go to hell. But a person who sheds tears for others will go to heaven. And this is a speech given to us January 3rd, 1978. And we read, Respect all things as holy things. Treat them as sacred objects. Respect all people as holy people. Each one of the sacred body of God. Respect yourself as a holy person with the thought that your, mu your mind is God's mind and your body is God's body. This is a speech given to us November 27, 1978. And we read, Do you say to someone who possesses much knowledge, he is an outstanding person? No. He must have a good heart. A good person 
has an innately good framework of life and original nature. Whether knowledge or not, a good person has a good heart. And this is a speech given to us January 16, 1971. And we read, Your eyes should become more benevolent. Of course, they shine when you look at a good person. But even when you see wicked people, you should add extra effort to look at them with a heart of compassion and love. True love has the capacity to digest even evil things. It possesses such power. And this is a speech given to us January 2nd, 1983. And we read, You may have beautiful eyes, but if they glow with the light of jealousy uh, or personal ambition, seeking to take advantage of others or out for blood, those eyes are fearsome and ugly to behold. Yet, even though your eyes may be unattractive and irregular shaped, if they shine with the light of love, benevolence, and peace, then those eyes will captivate people. They are charming and possess magnetic power. So, when you act with love as the inner motivation, even wearing a mask cannot hide your beauty. And this is a speech given to us December 13th, 1981. And now we come to page 687, and we have a second topic. Uh, a loving heart and its root in God's heart. And we read, Gentleness and goodness are the root of humanity. Book of Ritual 38.18 This is from Confucianism. And we read, To love is to know me, more innermost nature, my innermost nature, the truth that I am. And this is Bhagavad Gita 18.55 and from, from Hinduism. And we read, All men have this heart that when they see another man suffer, they suffer too. Take a, an example. A man looks out and sees a child about to fall into a well. No matter who that the man is, his heart will flip flop and he will feel the child's predicament. And not only not because he expects to get something out of it from the child's parents or because he wants praise from his neighbors, associates or friends or because he is afraid of a bad name or anything like that. This is from Mencius 2 A.6 and this is from Confucianism. And we read, the dwelling of Tadagata is the great compassionate heart within all the living. The robe of Tadagata is gentle and forbearing heart. And this is from Lotus Sutra 10 from Buddhism. And we read, as a mother protects 
her only child at the risk of her own life. Let him cultivate a boundless heart towards all beings. And this is from Kadaka Pata Metta Sutta from Buddhism. And we read, Allah is kind and loves whoever is kind. Alha is clean and love whoever is clean. Alha is generous and loves whoever is generous. And this is from Hadith of Islam 913.2 from Islam. And we read, What sort of religion can it be without compassion? You need to show compassion to all living beings. Compassion is the root of all religious faiths. Basavana Vakana 247. This is from Hinduism. And uh, we now turn to read the teachings of our true father, the Reverend Dr. Sang Myung Moon. We read, because God is love, let us center our lives on heart, in bracket Shimjan, the essence of love. We advance on the path by developing a character that springs from the heart. And this is a speech given to us February 22nd, 1976. And we read, in the heart of love, everything becomes one. It is all inclusive, not discriminating. Being all inclusive, it is also embracing. Inclusiveness is the inner core that manifests outwardly as tolerance. Inner and outer engage in circular motion. Thus, tolerance promotes inclusiveness and inclusiveness promotes tolerance. Beyond that, love is mutual responsive. Mutual responsive means the grandfather is not always absolute, nor are the grandchildren always absolute. At times the grandfather may become a grandchild and the grandchild may become the grandfather. That is what is meant by mutual responsive. Therefore, anywhere that loving hearts and loving atmosphere prevail, there is no opposition. Everyone welcomes it. Neither knowledge nor power can create such a tolerant and embracing environment. Only love can do it. When a hungry child is embraced in its mother's bosom, it can forget its hunger and go to sleep. What else could be a precious, as precious as love? Diamonds? Suppose your wife or child was ill or and on the verge of dying. Would you refuse to take a diamond out of your jewelry box and sell it to cover their medical costs? Would that be love? Genuine love has the power to move anything. And this is a speech given to us January 31, 1986. And we read, due to the human fall, nothing about human realm of heart entitles us to stand before God. 
except for one condition that remains unchanged parents loving hard for their children children's love towards their parents cannot be the standard because in the beginning we betrayed God from the position of children. Hence, we lost the emotion basis to relate to God as his children. On the other hand, God loved Adam and Eve even at the moment of their fall. That original nature remains in our heart. It remains the basis for parents to act according to their original mind in loving their children. Therefore, among people living in the children realm, only parents' love towards their children remains as an original pre la lap sa standard of love prelap serene standard of love it shall remain as a eternal standard and this is a speech given to us May 25th 1969 and we read if parents have a child with a handicap or birth defect they are heartbroken yet make special efforts to take care of that child the love of even worldly parents unmistakably reflect God's heart that is why restoration is possible when you are filial towards your parents and this is a speech of September 10th, 1978. And we read, Right now, what we need most is the glow of love. God's love is like the guide rope of, an, of a net that love should set its anchor in me where should we set the center of our character not in the truth but rather in the heart in bracket Shimja and this is a speech given to us August 8th 1970 and we come to on page 688 to a new topic Good deeds, which we can read tomorrow. I see it's already 5:30, and we can come to the end of our Kundoke reading this morning here on page 688, and uh, we can make some uh, comments in from the inspirations of today's reading um, from page 685. On the topic a good heart um, from what we read I think the most striking new lesson to me this morning was uh, what true father has said here in the last uh, uh, in this last paragraph about the heart of the parent that's uh, something I never thought in that way yeah. uh, this is absolutely new mm -hmm. that the four uh, 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 on page six Love. yeah okay. 687 it okay. says at the bottom there due to the fall to the human fall Nothing about human realm of heart entitles us to stand before God except 
for one condition that remains unchanged, parents' loving heart for their children. Children's heart, uh, children's love towards their parents cannot be the standard because in the beginning we betrayed God from the position of children. Hence, we lost the emotion, emotional basis to relate to God as his children and therefore we became Satan's children. On, their, on the other hand, God's love loved Adam and Eve even at the moment of their fall. That original nature remains in our hearts. Wow, that's a very, very profound statement. Uh, it remains the basis for parents to act according to their original mind in loving their children. Therefore, among peoples living in the fallen realm, only parents' love towards their children remains as an original prelapsarian standard. I will check that word in the dictionary. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's a completely new yeah, word. Uh, <laughs> Prelapsarian. Standard of love. It shall remain as an eternal standard. So, of all the hearts, uh, now this is where we learn from True Father. That's why True Father is so special to us because he reveals to us such things that we we could not think of them we mm. even if we sat down for years and years we could i i cannot think like this mm. that what remained is the heart of god still loving adam and eve yeah. Yeah. At the moment, the even moment. when they fell mm. and therefore it still reflects as our original mind. Mm -hmm. So now I can confidently say, uh, when what is my original mind? It's a parental heart. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's why if we aspire to become parents to anyone, we will be acting on our original mind. Yeah. And that's the mind that remained with God and the compassion for Adam and Eve even at the time of the fall. And that's what we see with all parents' behaviors, even fallen parents. As we have read another story here that uh, even a parent, um, a person seeing a child uh, falling into the well, you will not do that because of wanting fame or not wanting uh, or any other reason. Mm -hmm. You will do that because your original mind kicks in, mm -hmm. active, activates, and you will just go to save this child from falling in the well. Um, uh, I remember. I lived somewhere in Gong, uh, in Kenya, and in front of like a few feet there was a well. I was the nearest to the well, so I used to get water uh, very easily. But uh, I used to wake up as early as now and get water, fetch water, and put it in my house so that I know by from six o'clock people will come there very many and they will take all the water that uh, the well used to uh, increase water at night mm -hmm. and when we take it out by maybe seven o'clock there is no more water mm -hmm. then we will wait the whole day and it, by four o'clock again water increases so one day uh, I came from work and uh, I was just about my things in the house 
and suddenly I heard the kids shouting and uh, when I went to check oh I saw they shouted that one boy has fallen inside the well mm -hmm. and it was like uh, 12 feet deep mm -hmm. and I just came and saw this boy and I looked for anything to throw to him to uh, to pull him out and I couldn't get so but I could see uh, he was like uh, the water was like four feet high mm -hmm. and he was struggling to balance but I knew I am taller so all I did is jump in mm -hmm. with my clothes and with my everything and my shoes <laughs> <laughs> my slippers I was wearing slippers mm -hmm. so I lifted him up and uh, other people came in and they brought a ladder and we, we came out. Mm. So this story of uh, the well is a true story for me. It's <laughs> something that happened. So I did not, it was not my child. I had no child. I had no, I was just a person. Mm. And uh, the nearest and uh, that could uh, quickly run there and uh, uh, help the situation. Mm -hmm. So from that moment, this child and uh, their m their mother, they they, had, they became so close to me. They used to bring me food. <laughs> they knew I was a bachelor, so they used to cook for me and bring me food. You know, <laughs> uh, because of saving this boy and this boy. Uh, 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 kept on remembering me uh, many many years uh, uh, so that, that's a true story uh, for me so uh, but I didn't know about this point you know the way true father has brought it up it comes from God's compassion for Adam and Eve even at the time of the fall and that's what remains in every in all human beings it, be, it is the, our original mind uh, that's a very very inspiring point I have learned today uh, from uh, reading this chapter uh, of uh, the topic of good heart and uh, yeah uh, that's what was so inspiring to me uh, this morning yeah you want to share yeah. Reverend Francis. Anyone else who wants yes. to share? Thank you, Reverend Esra. Anybody who wants to share about the reading today? So I first heard about it from Wasanatu, from my wife. Oh. Yeah. The Thank you. Sure. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Anybody else who wants to share about the good heart, a loving heart, and its roots in God's heart? Thank you, and Olga. Anyway, I heard it from uh, Wasana. You know, mm. the, um, I asked him, uh, "What do you want from you know a husband <laughs> or?" You know, of course, he said, she said, a good heart. Mm. I first learned it, you know, when, after the blessing. Mm. Yeah. And uh, what inspired me also is like the well. You know, our Miss University from my hometown is all, it's not really, you know, about the good heart, but it's about naming, you know, children only one syllable because there's this family who are very proud about their child having a very long name. You know, it's in Chinese, very long. Mm -hmm. And this boy fell on the well, 
That's the story of this, you know, contestant. Of course, she won until uh, in New York. And uh, since the boy fell and they cannot reach him, he has to tell everybody that Mr. Poli, like, very, very long name, fell onto the well. <laughs> so when everybody was already looking, you know, when they heard the, that long name, they all came. Of course, uh, this time, you know, it, this is just a fictional story. Uh, but it's a folklore, in, you know, in China. Uh, the, the boy, of course, drowned. And from then on, most of their names are very short. So like Lee, Paul, mm -hmm. Nam, you know. Oh. And I think it goes all the way to Korea because they are made from Chinese characters like Kim, Lee, Park. Mm -hmm. Because of, uh, you know, uh, before you can ask for help, if you mention a very, very long name from the time that you uh, can ask help, you know, it, it'll be too late. So that's why they name <laughs> a children's name, you know. I think it's for, I think the purpose of that is, I think, of course, to save also. And to <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, so I learned from that, you know, uh, from... Uh, uh, not a poem, but it's a, of course, a story from that contestant. Yeah. And uh, I, what I like also today is about uh, from Judaism, when this rabbi, was his name, Johan, oh, Yohanan ben Zakkai, said, Go forth and see which is the good way to which a man should cleave. Of course, many rabbis have said, a good eye. Of course, a good eye is like, you're very good, you know, maybe meticulous and uh, you can see what's good. Then uh, another rabbi said, a good friend. Then another rabbi said, Rabbi Jose said, a good neighbor. Of course, a good neighbor, you know, is being used even in commercials. You know, like uh, <laughs> state farm, a good neighbor is on your side, you know. <laughs> then Rabbi Simeon was the one who foresees the fruit of an action. And the ra last one is Rabbi Elazar said, a good heart. So thereupon he said to them, I approve the words of uh, Elazar ben Arab rather than the wor your words, for in his words, yours are included. So I think a good heart is really, of course, a good friend, a good neighbor. I think one who foresees the fruit of an action and a good eye, all of these things. And we know also about the story of Sim Jung, you know, the love of... Uh, I thought it was the love of the child because she uh, sacrificed many things and she was even uh, washed out in the, on the sea. She was taken from the uh, whale and then she eventually became, uh, she helped a family that became uh, instrumental in being her, uh, a queen, you know, to a king. So when uh, uh, the king wants her uh, in her hand in marriage, she were, uh, the king was asking, what do you want uh, above all, all things? Of course, she wants to see her father whom she left because uh, I think the story is like she was offered because, you know, uh, the father is blind and then very old and she needs to at least uh, the father cannot take care of her her name is Simjung so she has to look for herself of course when she can take care of herself already she asks for 
her father to be brought to her. Of course, uh, it took a while before they found her father. And the story goes that it is the love of the father is more profound than the child. Because all along she was always, he was always wishing for her to get, you know, all the good things in life. So I'm uh, not uh, thinking about himself. So it's not the love of Simjong, but it's the uh, parental heart, which we uh, read today from Father, that uh, whatever the children wants to show to their, their parent, it's not enough compared to the parent's heart, because yeah. the parent's heart is more profound then you know even uh, the children's heart yes. and it's not yet perfected of course but it's already being done by uh, parents in the secular world they r really love their children that they sacrifice and do many things so that they can uh, offer it to the children so that the children can succeed in life yeah so that's uh, all I want to share is, is there anybody else who wants to share about uh, a good heart? So if there's none, let's all rise and have unison prayer. Our most beloved heavenly parents, we're so thankful for all these inspiration times about a good heart. And we pray for each other and for all the people of the world that they will have a good heart from the teachings of their religions and the teachings of our true father, Samyang. We pray that we can really have this symptom to really have a heart encompassing even evil and also the good ones. We pray that we can always look at others with compassion and always with a good heart. And we pray that we can share this stories and share his teachings to our friends, our relatives, our associates, our office mates, and all the people that touch our lives and even the people you have prepared for us outside of this church and even outside of our movement. We pray that we can just not keep it, but always share with others. And we pray that those who are able to see our playback today would learn a lot from our reading today. And we pray for their inspiration too, that they will pass it forward. And we pray for more blessings to come for those brothers and sisters who are really practicing this good function. And we pray all this in all our names and in my name, as the last of Christ and Sacred Talan, blessed Lord Father, our Jew, our Jew, our Lord.
Welcome. It will be cold, so keep your uh, yourself warm. Yes. Have a great and wonderful day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I need to put more chairs in front. I, I felt that somebody was telling me, please put more chairs <laughs> uh, when I was sitting there. When I sit there, I feel warm. <laughs> 